Hi there, this is Physics, Chapter 9, Thermal Properties of Matter, Lesson 3, Boiling, Condensation, and Evaporation. Now in this video, we will learn to relate how internal energy of a substance, meaning its internal kinetic energy and potential energy, and how this is involved during boiling, condensation, and evaporation. We will also learn the difference between boiling and evaporation. Now, boiling is the process in which the thermal energy absorbed by a substance changes it from liquid state to gas state without a change in temperature. During boiling, thermal energy is absorbed to overcome the bonds or forces of attraction between the liquid particles. And during this process, the thermal energy changes into potential energy and is stored inside the substance itself. During, during boiling, the kinetic energy of the substance do not change. As a result, the temperature remains the same as well. Condens condensation occurs when energy is removed to cause a liquid to change into gas without a change in temperature. At condensation point, the substance releases thermal energy as forces of attraction between the particles are being formed. This thermal energy comes from the stored potential energy of the particles. During the condensation process, the kinetic energy do not change as well, and this will result in a constant temperature during this process itself. Now, boiling and condensation point. Boiling point is the temperature at which a substance changes from liquid to gas state, while condensation point is the temperature at which a substance changes from gas to liquid state. Boiling and condensation takes place at the same temperature for the same kind of substance. However, these temperatures will be different for different substances. For example, for water, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, while the condensation point of water vapor is also at 100 degrees Celsius. Now, evaporation. Evaporation is a process where liquid at the top surface changes into gas at any temperature above its melting point. During evaporation, the temperature of the liquid body actually drops. And interestingly, evaporation causes a cooling effect. Now, we will explore more and try to understand what happens here during evaporation and this thing called the cooling effect during evaporation in the next few slides. Now, let's have a closer look at how evaporation occurs. In this example, we use ether as the liquid. Ether is a substance that exists in liquid state at room temperature and it has a very low boiling point. Now, molecules of ether near to the surface of the liquid absorbs energy from the surrounding. Okay, it can be from the ether itself or from the surrounding air. And as it absorbs this energy, it becomes more energetic. All right, so these molecules which are more energetic and are near to the surface of the liquid itself they are able to pull free from the forces of attraction from the other molecules over here inside the liquid and escape into the surrounding air. And when they escape, they carry with them some energy. Hence, this leaves behind molecules of ether which are less energetic. Now, some of these ether molecules in gas state may actually collide with other surrounding air molecules like oxygen or carbon dioxide or even other ether molecules. And during the collision, some of these molecules may actually rebound back into the liquid itself. So take note, uh, for such case for evaporation, it only happens or occurs only at the surface of the liquid. Now let's try to answer this question. Why does evaporation cause cooling? Well, during evaporation, liquid itself draws or gains or absorbs heat or thermal energy from either the surrounding air or the surfaces that the liquid is resting on or even our skin so that the more energetic molecules near the surface can escape. So that is why we feel cooler when liquid evaporates from our body. Now how about this question? Why temperature of liquid drops during evaporation? Well, this happens because when more energetic molecules near the surface escape into the surrounding air, the remaining molecules with lesser energy stays behind. As a result, this causes an overall reduction in the total internal energy of the remaining liquid. 
causing the drop in temperature. Now in the next slide, let's have a look at the differences between boiling and evaporation. Okay, now boiling occurs at a definite temperature and this temperature remains constant during the boiling process. However, evaporation takes place at any temperature above melting point. For boiling, this takes place throughout the liquid, meaning that when water, for example, when it boils, you see bubbles forming at all parts of the liquid, for either from the bottom, the sides, or even near the top of the liquid. However, for evaporation, this change from liquid to gas state only occurs at the surface of the liquid. During boiling, you see a lot of bubbles. However, during evaporation, no bubbles are present. Boiling is a very quick process. For evaporation, the process is a lot slower. Now let's have a look at the factors affecting the rate of evaporation. Altogether, there are six of them. The first is temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the rate of evaporation. Second is the humidity of the surrounding air. Humidity refers to how wet the surrounding air is. Okay? In Singapore, generally, the humidity is very high. So when the air around us is humid, the rate of evaporation will actually decrease. The third factor is the surface area of the liquid. The bigger the surface area of the liquid, the faster the liquid evaporates. The fourth factor will be the movement of air above the surface of the liquid, or wind. The faster the air moves above the liquid, or the faster the wind is, the faster the liquid will also evaporate. The, sixth fact, the fifth factor is actually pressure. When the surrounding air pressure is low, evaporation takes place more rapidly. And lastly is the nature of the liquid. Different liquid has different boiling point. Liquid with lower boiling point will actually evaporate much faster than liquid with a higher boiling point. So that brings us to the end of this particular uh, lesson. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for listening.